Hi everyone, this is Sherry Bell Raywalt from creativesmarketing.com and today's video tip is how to add a plugin to your wordpress.org site. So the plugin that I'm going to add today is a plugin called Print Friendly because I noticed um, when I tried to print often from websites, uh, the pages just, they look all screwed up. So this is my blog, creativesmarketing.com and I want to print out this blog post Obviously the video is not going to show up, but I want to show you what happens a lot of times when you try to print out something from a website. You get all these no numerous pages and it looks like crap, right? You see all this stuff that you don't want. So the plugin Print Friendly is going to allow people after I install it to get a really nice print version of my blog post. So let's jump to the back side of creativesmarketing.com on my dashboard. And to add a plugin, um, you would go right down here on the left hand side to plugins and click add new. I already did that, so and I typed in print friendly, so up came this list of uh, possible plugins that it thinks I might like. But I'm gonna go with the one that actually says print friendly. And to install it, I just click this install button. And click the bright orange install button. And then uh, you can see that it's installed it successfully and now to activate it or to get it to show up on my wordpress.org blog I need to click this activate plugin button and it'll now be listed there it is among my plugins so um, a lot of times when you add a plugin to your site if there are further further options or tweaking that you can do it will list a link here on the left hand side and I can just go ahead and click that. Obviously, it's going to let me click some things here. So these are the visual graphics that I can add. So I like this one. It's already selected, um, telling people that they can create both a PDF or a print version. I like that. So show buttons only on individual posts and pages, not on front page listings. Um, I'm OK with that. So I'm going to just click Save Changes. And now this plugin is installed on my site. So let's go back to the front and I'm gonna reload this page so that I should, you'll be able to see it. And let's scroll down to the bottom of this blog post and see if we can find that icon. There it is right there. Um, I don't really like the where it post put the icon, but um, I might leave it. Let's go ahead and print, excuse me, um, click this just to see. Okay, so you see the difference right away. This is how it's going to print out for someone. Um, that's nice, very nice compared to how it did look. So they can either print it out, uh, create a PDF, and it looks like right here you can click to further delete any content that you don't want to show up on your printed version or PDF version. That's lovely. Fabulous. Alrighty there. So um, I also want to show you while we're here how to take this plugin off. So we will jump back to our dashboard side and I need to go back to my list now of installed plugins. I need to go find it down in my list again, and here it is, Print Friendly PDF, and I'm going to deactivate it. And so now you can see I have 28 plugins, which might be a lot, I don't know. <laughs> 27 of them are active, and the one inactive one will be that link that we just put on plugin we just put on which is uh, the print friendly and PDF and we're just going to delete that and 
and click second. Yes, delete these files. And that takes off that plugin entirely um, from my WordPress site. So that's all you need to do to add a plugin or to delete a plugin. Or um, again, if it drops a link down here on the left hand side, there's further tweaking that you can do to it. But that's all there is to it. That's how easy plugins are. And you can see that they add a lot of cool will bells and whistles to your site. So this is Sherry Bell Raywalt from creativesmarketing.com. If you have any further WordPress questions, um, I'm happy to answer them. You can um, let me just click that. You can send me an email at sherry at creativesmarketing.com or simply click the contact button on creativesmarketing.com, scroll down and leave us a message and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and maybe you'll think about adding that to your site as well. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye.